You know, I, there was a guy when I, I read a book when I was uh, in s- probably third or fourth grade about a man named Paul Robeson. And he was a, a all-American uh, football player. He was an opera singer. He was an actor. He was a, he was a black man, yeah. you know. And I was like, man, I want to be this guy when I grow up. So I always kept it in my mind that you have to be well-rounded and be a renaissance man. As an artist, you got to be a renaissance man anyway and not just be primarily focused on what you're doing because it becomes very singular, you know. Yeah. And you don't want to just be monolith. You want to be you want to be broad. You want to be able to uh, reach different people. So I, that always stayed in my mind. So when I went to performing art school, I even I played uh I played sports and and I was I was doing everything. I was acting and and, and I was singing. I thought I was going to be an opera singer. Yeah, so I went, after I graduated from um, high school, I went to uh, college to study uh, film mm-hmm. and to study be, to be a director like my mom and to be a, a writer. And um, in the midst of that, in the midst of me uh, writing and doing all of that, I was still doing plays mm-hmm. because I still had the acting bug. So I was doing professional plays. I wasn't doing plays in, in the school because I didn't think that the plays uh, at school were as good as the plays that were at my high school. Uh, an agent came to see me in one of in one of the shows, and she just came up to me like, "I want to represent you," and I was like, "Well, I just want to be a director, but okay, that's cool." I think my first audition I got was like for Remember the Titans, and I got real close on it, mm-hmm. but I was like, "I don't even want to do this." And then the second audition I got was for Road Trip, okay. and then I got on set, and I was like, "Man, yeah, this is what I want to do now." <laughs> you know, I was like, "I don't, I don't even want to do the directing thing no more," because they treat you like a king when you're on set. I didn't know that, you know. I was like, "Oh, I'm used to like, you know, going to uh, play rehearsals and you rehearsing for four or five hours, yeah. you know, and, and it's not like that." But then I was like, "I like this movie stuff, though." Yeah. So from there, man, I just kept it going. Hey guys, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the clip, and we have a lot of great stuff coming. Mm-hmm, we do. Check us out on iTunes. Subscribe. And like us. Uh, and also subscribe on YouTube, probably like, like in this she, area or something. Generally. Over her face. Okay. That's gonna be. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.